My name's Janetta Smith, I'm an animal behaviourist and my company's Furry Little Monsters. I'm here today to talk about some of the issues around cat behaviour. Often people get stray cats coming into their gardens and often into the house if they've got cats. Um, sometimes they'll come in through the, litter, uh, through the cat flap areas. Obviously if you want to deter them from coming in, the best way of doing that is to actually, first of all you need to clean down the areas specifically around cat flaps, entrances in and out of the house or areas that they've come into, um, using biological washing powder which tends to clean down the enzymes um, and use surgical spirit to go over the top which tends to get rid of the scent marking where they've scented around cat flaps and entrances. Um, so if you do it around sort of out, out, outdoor areas, on, on patios, on decking, uh, front door, mats, those sort of areas that would stop them coming through. Um, also a deterrent which you can use to put around the perimeters of the garden um, is using lemon juice. If you use up a, a third solution of lemon juice, a third solution of alcohol and a third solution of spring water, mix it up put it in a spray bottle and spray it around the outskirts of the garden. Obviously be careful if you have got cats yourself because cats do not like the, the smell of that and that might upset them. But obviously if you have got haven't got a cat and you've got cats coming in then please do that. Um, the other thing is people tend to leave out around rubbish days, rubbish bags with food or feeding uh, foxes and other cats. If you refrain from doing that because obviously cats will come in um, if they know that they've got access to food in your garden. Another way of uh, deterring cats um, going to the toilet and coming in around flower beds um, is an old theory which if you get a glass bottle, very clean, fill it half water, lie it down in the flower bed, put several down, cats hate the reflection and will stop them going into that area. If you have any further problems then obviously um, you perhaps need to contact a behaviourist but that, that's a way of get, getting stray cats not coming into the garden.